So it looks like we may have a new cougar mount coming to the game, as well as a puffin raven skin, some new tattoos, and a brand new armor set and a couple weapons. Of course, goes without saying, big thanks to Pedder. He's been working his socks off in the game files again. The man is an absolute wizard, and I'm very much looking forward to what else you whip up for us going forward. But first up, the best thing about being a small channel is that when I actually do do a giveaway, you actually have a good chance to win, which is great. So I'm actually giving away a free copy of the Siege of Paris DLC or 2,300 Helix credits if you already have the season pass. I'm not not affiliated with Ubisoft in any way, so this is out of my own pocket as a thank you from me to you for your awesome support. You just need to be a subscriber of the channel and I've popped the link down below to enter. It only takes about five seconds and I'll be announcing the winner in two weeks time. So thanks again, folks, and good luck. So let's have a look at this Cougar Mount first and it's actually called the White Fang and it seems to be part of the Ullers Hunter pack. And Pedder tells me that in the game files, Ubisoft have started naming these particular items with store directly in their names. So I think we can say with good amount of confidence that this will be a Helix store offer which means it's going to make its way to Redder, and I suspect this pack may be released when one-handed swords hit in a few weeks time. We still don't have a confirmed date on that but I am actually hoping for end of the month but we're just going to have to wait and see. We also do pick up a Cougar Raw. Jump! similar to that of the lion mount with this one i've got to say i know a cougar mount isn't very authentic and perhaps i've become too accustomed to the lynx mount in ireland but i think it's a pretty good looking mount all things considered and if it did appear in redder it'd be a 50 50 choice for me but i'm still holding out for some awesome heavy cavalry skins in paris though which of course would be my personal preference but saying that one of the things that would be very difficult to say no to at redder and that's this fantastic puffin raven skin called puffy puffy does look great i'm a fan even though i do love my hawk raven skin i think it's a good bit of fun and having him sit on your shoulder did actually make me smile so what a character. Now moving on to some armor and it seems like we're going to be picking up Ulla's Hunter's set which I believe is another slight reskin of the Huntsman set certainly the torso with the exception of a few additions specifically the Boarhelm and by the way just for a little bit of context Ulla was the son of Sif who was reincarnated in the body of Faravid who we see in the Valhalla storyline. Ulla was also the stepson of Thor and widely seen as the supreme god when it came to anything to do with a bow and archery and that seems to make a lot of sense here as this pack is without a doubt a range set as the two main perks on this set is an increase in range damage after activating the man's best friend ability and an ability damage increase for just equipping the full set. So it seems to me that if you're a player who enjoys range combat while utilizing a lot of your abilities this set would be pretty attuned to your choice of gameplay if you're willing to spend a little bit of cash to get it or wait for it to pop in redder. Now when it comes to weapons we've got two here in this set. We've got a bow which is what you'd kind of hope for given the nature of this set as well as a brand new shield. So first up the antlers bow is a Hunter's Bow, which is a fairly interesting perk. You get an increase in ability damage depending upon your filled adrenaline slots, so that goes up to a maximum of 40. And I reckon if you're pulling in big groups of enemies, unleashing your Wolf or Irish Hound for the armor perk buff, and then throwing down an incendiary fire trap, you could actually see some happy returns here. Saying that though, I'm not entirely convinced you'd want to constantly keep your adrenaline bars up around the three mark constantly though. But the reason I say that is because I'm a bit of a button basher, so there we are. And with the shield, it's called Fenrir's bite and perk wise it does seem to complement that type of ability buff gameplay as the additional perk is a buff to ability damage. Aesthetically I think it is a quite cool looking shield a little bit too fanciful for me perhaps and I don't often run with shields but I can completely understand why someone would like the look of this. It would also be quite cool to have seen something like this in a complete wolf set similar to the berserker set I thought that was pretty cool and if we did pick this up in a future update it would be great to actually get it in the game rather than the helix store but alas fingers crossed for the future. By the way folks if you found any value from the video so far a like on the video would be very kind and very helpful so thanks very much as i'm sure you know in these kind of sets we also pick up a brand new long ship and some of you folks may actually recognize this one as Peta found it in the game files a few months ago it's got that iconic deer as the figurehead the emblem of ulla on the sail and a gold deer figurehead on the bow of the ship i'll be honest with you folks i was quite disappointed to find this was actually part of this pack i mean to be honest it does make complete sense with the whole ulla theme but out of all the long ship schemes that i've seen so far i was actually quite fond of this one i think it looks quite cool and would have liked to have seen it in game for free alas again it looks like it's going to be another redder job for me on this one and we also pick up a ulla's tattoo set scheme which doesn't look too bad but with the introduction of the transmog feature and i don't know about you folks here but with the selection of armor sets i don't often find myself even seeing a lot of the body tattoos unless there's one on the melon so i think it's a nice tattoo design but not too impactful for me and i don't think it's going to set the world on fire now speaking of fire 
Fire, you may be interested in joining our awesome Discord community. We talk about everything AC and everything not. We also have a weekly photo competition where you could submit your photos and everybody votes. So feel free to pop in the lobby and say hi. It would be great to see you here. And I think that'll do it for me, folks. Let me know what you think about all of this down below. Big thanks to Pedder again. And I think this time coffee is definitely on him. So I'll see you guys in the next video.